So the first point regarding the SPSS one is that you have to install the library foreign. So if you have not installed the package library foreign, it would be worthwhile that if you go to install packages and do the foreign. I already have it installed, so I'll not go ahead and install it, but those who have not really done it, can you please do it? So once you do it, what would happen is that you would, next, you would do library foreign. And then, make sure that uh, your uh, file is there in the working directory. It's better to set the working directory also. For me, the set wd, I should do the set wd here. Set WD, where is my file? Copy address as text. So, we'll come back to your question, Ajit. The cancer data is there. So, we'll just see the cancer data. The cancer data is here. So, we'll, we'll read the cancer data. Once you have the cancer data read, then you can do the class of the cancer data. That's a list. And then what you do is that you can convert that uh, list into a data frame. So. Here what I'm doing is that I'm doing as dot data frame cancer data. So if as dot data frame it will convert the cancer data into a data frame. And once you do that, you can find the names of the cancer data here. You can find the top six rows of the cancer data also through this. So this is how we can do uh, this, uh, how we can obtain the values from an SPSS file. So while I was doing this part, I presume that you guys were doing it with me or you have done it earlier. So I just wanted to be sure that you guys understand this very well because I see that this is in one of your assignments and you could excel in those assignments as well as learn how to import data from different formats. Okay, before I move on to the next section, I would try to answer the questions that have been asked. So Ajit uh, is saying, I tried it using library HM ISC. So Ajit, in R there are multiple ways of doing it. So if you have tried and if, if you had got the result, if you have obtained the data frame and if it is not null, then you are correct. Please make sure when you are, when you are trying different things, you should have error checks like whether it is the data frame that you have got has value in it or not. I also see a section, uh, a question on uh, the previous part. Okay, so this is uh, regarding the demo 2.r. What I will do is that before we move on to the sections, let's let me open demo 2.r. Demo 2.r, uh, Jyotsna has requested about a question in Okay, 
So, Josna is asking what does this statement mean? A minus C13, comma C1234. What it means is that we are getting rid of the rows 1 and 3 and getting rid of the columns 1, 3 and 4. So, let's try to get into this and prove it once more. So, what this is, is a matrix column. So, if you have A, so this is the matrix with four rows and four columns. So, A minus 1, 2 or here it was uh, minus 3, 1, 3. So, it will remove this row and this row and then it will remove the 1, 3 and the 4. So, what it will remain is that the second and the fourth rows and the second column. So, if I execute this, that is what you see, the second row is left, fourth row is left and the second column that is 6 and 8 is left. Correct. It removes columns 1, 3 and 4 of rows 1 and 3. That's, that's correct. So, what minus C is doing is that uh, it is uh, removing the rows in the first part and in the columns it is removing this part. So, rows and columns. So, that is the thing. 